Well, the thing is, a lot of people are asking questions about PenFed credit card. When should I apply? How should I apply? In today's conversation, I want to address the first part. When should you apply? So I want to talk about PenFed credit card application timing hacks. There are certain specific periods during which you should never apply for a PenFed credit card. If you want to hear more, and I think you want to hear more, you want to stick around till the end of today's conversation. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you are to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee, or tea, or vodka, and let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, I want to talk about PenFed credit card application timing hacks. There are certain periods during which you should never apply for a PenFed credit card. The first search period is what we call bad timing. If you want bedtime, okay, and proper time. So let's say you are about to get a mortgage or other loan. This is not the right period for you to apply for a pen for credit card because you are trying to preserve whatever FICO score you currently have. So you don't want to have any inquiries on your credit score, on your credit report at that time. So if you're about to get a mortgage or other personal loan, don't apply for a pen for the credit card. The timing is not right, son, daughter. Not right. Or let's say you have gotten recent hard inquiries, right? Let's say you have gotten five or six or whatever inquiries. And everybody understands that each inquiry will chip five to ten points away at your FICO score. Right? So if you if let's say you have gotten five or six inquiries, that's five to sixty points potentially. So what you want to have is that you don't want to have a situation where you are applying for a pen for the credit card. And your FICO score has been decimated. So it's really important. So, and also, son, daughter, dad, mom, I'm talking to you. If your finances are not in good shape, if you are in financial straits, if you are struggling to make ends meet, this is not the right time for you to apply for a PenFed credit card. You want to put your, you want to keep your finances uh, back in shape first before applying for a credit card. What I'm trying to say is if you are unemployed or let's say you just lost your job or just uh, your DTI is very high, your debt to income ratio is high, your CUR is high, you are keeping balance, you are keeping balances on your existing credit cards. This is not the right time. And you have to accept it. Don't try to force to force things and try to say, you know, I'm going to tr- I'm going to do it anyway. And let's see what, what will happen. Well, what will happen here is that your ass will be denied or they will give you a, a very small ass limit. 300 800 okay so you really want to find the right time to apply for a PenFed credit card very important hold your horses be patient the second time when uh, you should not apply for a PenFed credit card is if you don't have no big purchase on the horizon see the thing here is that if you if, if everything is fine let's just say you are living within your means you're not trying to show off. You're not trying to put a lot of large purchases on your card, whatever. And you just are comfortable with your life right now. Why should you apply for a PenFed credit card? Just because you want to have a credit card? Come on. This is not a good excuse. If you don't have a, if you don't, if you're not buying furniture, if you're not buying anything major for your household, then you don't want to uh, apply for a PenFed credit card. Because some PenFed credit cards like uh, the Pathfinder or the Platinum, they have rewards okay the pathfinder when you're traveling you get rewards for the platinum you get you get you get you get points right on gas or supermarkets and whatnot same thing for the power cash the power cash is a cash back uh, credit card so my thing is if you don't have a big purchase nothing major in the household do not apply for a penfed credit card credit card is a game you should apply strategically okay very important and the thing here is that the bottom line is again if you're not making a big ticket purchase, do not apply for this card. So big decision time, boss. 
big decision time. Do you currently plan on making a big time, a big ticket purchase very soon? Talk to me. Be really clear and don't try to don't try to razzle dazzle me. Be be specific with me. Do you need anything big or major in, in your household right now? If not, don't apply for this card. Okay, don't apply for a pen for a credit card. We got to be in a situation where we are constantly saving our FICO score, our FICO score points. We are saving our points because there will come a time where you will need a, a hard inquiry anyway. We'll, we will need those points anyway, right? Don't you try to lose your points just like uh, randomly like that. No, no, no. Don't do this, boss. Do not do this. So if you don't have no big purchase on the horizon, do not apply for a pen for a credit card. Okay, you want to wait. You want to build up your relationship with them. You want to beef up your uh, your savings with them. You want to beef up your deposits with them. And hopefully you want to uh, bring more direct deposit, more more of your pay into direct deposit account with PenFed so that you are actually building up your NPR, your multi-product relationship with them. This is a better use of your time than trying to force destiny, trying to say, you know, I'm going to apply anyway. Even though I don't need the card, I just love to have a PenFed credit card in my wallet. No, that's not a good excuse. The third time when you, you should never apply for, not never, I think when you should not apply for a PenFed credit card if, if you had not be pre-approved. See, our team members, we never apply for a credit card. We always are invited. And you want to be in, in that situation. In other words, you want to... Uh, Constantly trying to play the game well, play the credit game very well, so that PenFed themselves they will send you a prequal offer, and the prequal offer is really sweet because you're you're not losing anything. Okay, so this is important, and uh, I want to answer a, a question from Cheryl Rodriguez in Chicago, and I know you ask questions about pre-approval. Pre-approval means that they're getting a soft pull on your credit. Okay, you're not losing any uh, FICO score points because this is not a hard pool, and this is a great opportunity because PenFed every now and then will send you prequal offers, and you just want to grab that prequal whenever you get it. Please seize it and use it, okay? Because you don't lose anything anyway. You're not losing anything. You just want to test the waters and see what's available out there. So this is pretty good, and this is uh, something that you really want to uh, to have. So if you are pre-qualified for a PenFed credit card, either for the, for the gold visa, for the platinum, for the power cash, or the Pathfinder, I want you to seize the opportunity and actually go through the entire, the entire process and see how much you could qualify for and the APR and what have you. If you have also been referred, if uh, let's say uh, an existing member has, re or has referred you to uh, PenFed and it happens, in certain states in, in the union that uh, PenFed will send a, will send a pre pre qual offer to a member who has been referred by another member especially if the the referrer the person referring the member is uh has been with PenFed for a while and uh, the member being referred is a new member so this happens a lot so what i'm trying to say here is that don't force destiny don't you try to force the system you want the system to work for you Okay, so third time when should, you should never apply for a benefit credit card when you have not been pre-approved. So first time, bad timing. Second time, no big purchase. Third time, no pre-approval. The fourth time is uh, if you have low income. Son, daughter. Are you currently uh, making a lot of cash or are you just uh, scraping by? What is your situation? Talk to me. Talk to me. Grandpa, grandma, what is your situation? Are you generating income at all or you can't really, uh, you are actually uh, scraping by? Uncle, nephew, I'm talking to everybody here. If you have low income and this is uh, Ken Rice, you are in Atlanta. Please, just to remember that uh, we are thinking about you and uh, your low income is not going to be uh, a deterrent for you to get other credit cards but for PenFed this could be a problem yes because PenFed no longer has uh, they used to have uh, uh, secured credit cards now they don't have it anymore so if you have low income I don't know how much you are 
talking about when we, you are speaking about low income. But one thing I can tell you for a fact is that our team has conducted extensive research. And if you are making less than uh, twelve thousand dollars a year, this could be a problem. So twelve thousand dollars gross a year, you could have you can find it difficult to qualify for a PenFed credit card. OK, so when we are talking about having low income, make sure that you constantly change your situation so that you don't have low income if you want to apply. So low income is a period when you should never apply for a benefit credit card. Instead, of, instead, you want to take the time to uh, make more money in your current job. OK, or find a new job with a higher salary or being promoted in, to, in, uh, in another. I mean, getting a promotion into your current job. OK, or you just want to wait when you get a, a bonus at work or let's say a large windfall. It can be uh, inheritance, lottery winnings and so on and so forth. My thing here is that you got to have the financial wherewithals, the cash flows, the cash inflows to actually qualify for a higher limit pen for the credit card. So do not apply. We do not recommend that you apply for a pen for credit card when you have low income. This is an important hack because what you're trying to do here is that you are trying to save your FICO score. At a later date, you can actually apply for a credit card and get approved. Very important. So this is something that is important, especially when we talk about the higher tier credit cards within the PenFed, PenFed card category, card family rather. Remember, the Pathfinder is actually the highest tier and uh, followed by the the platinum the private cash and the gold visa is the lower tier so if you is the lowest tier if you have a let's say low income you might want to try to qualify for the the gold visa you know so be strategic here now if you don't have a need for transferring balances do not apply for a pen for the credit card, especially the gold visa, which is a low interest credit card or the power cash. OK, so uh, what I'm trying to say here is that if there is nothing else going on in your life right now and you want to have a let's say you have a peaceful life, you don't need to transfer balances, then don't apply. The thing here is that you only want to apply for a pen for the credit card if you have a balance on a high interest credit card and PenFed is actually offering you, let's say 12 months, 15 months or 18 months of uh, interest free, let's say promotional period. OK, this is important. And Jessica Harry, Jessica, you are a woodworker in North Carolina. God bless you. And uh, we love your question. It is an important question about the correlation between uh, balance transfers and uh, and uh, PenFed credit card application, right? What? Yeah, OK. Yeah, it is an important question. So what I'm trying to say here is if you currently let's say you have uh, three or four credit cards right now and those credit cards have decent interest, like you're not paying any crazy high APR. So there is no need to transfer balances because sometimes when people transfer balances, they don't think about the three percent balance transfer fee. You got to think about that because that fee is charged to you up front. So when you annualize the three percent, you get like crazily high amount so this is really important okay so basically you want to uh, transfer balances if you have a high balance if you have a high balance uh, not a high balance a balance on a high interest credit card or let's say you were trying to get out of debt let's say you have a loan or you have a line of credit or something okay so if you don't have that please do not apply for a pen for credit card you will you will just uh, you might be approved with a lower limit or worse be denied okay so we, we want to be very strategic so son daughter what is your situation right now what it what what is uh, do you have uh, balances on uh, high interest uh, cars if you do I want you to take notes of them and, and constantly and you want to start the process whereby you real you have to compute the uh, the benefits versus the risks okay it has to be a risk versus rewards strategy I'll be right back right after this. Don't go anywhere.
Welcome back folks to another session of the Awesome Story Kiwi Show. We are still having a conversation about BenFed credit card application timing hacks. And I really just want to survey a little bit the, the worst time you could apply for a credit card. So if you have dirt poor credit, you don't want to apply for a BenFed credit card. I said this before, I'm going to say it again. This advice applies to, it's kind of similar, it's kind of analogous to what we said when we spoke about low income. So if you have a low if you have a low credit score, you don't want to apply, okay? And James Cook, you are in New York. You are asking now uh, how when what is the dirt poor credit? Well, dirt poor credit means you have a very poor credit score. Okay? So we are, you know, bad credit actually uh uh you know, if you have a 579 maximum uh, credit score, that's considered bad credit. So if you are in the 300 categories, if you are in the 400 categories, you have dirt poor credit, okay? So it, it, it's really important to actually th to take a step back and think about the best strategy for you to actually increase your FACO score. This will help you. This is a, a better use of your time than trying to apply for a pen for a credit card, okay? And as I said before, if you would like to build your credit profile, PenFed may not be the right institution for you because um, they actually they they actually uh, they used to uh, they used to have a secure credit card. They no longer have this, so you're gonna have to go to Navy Fed or another uh, bank or credit union to qualify for a secure credit card. So you have to see what re really works for you. Okay, this is really important. And the thing here is that if you have dirt poor credit and you are applying for the wrong credit card, that's even worse. Let me give you an example. Let's say you take the Platinum Rewards Visa Signature Card, okay? And this card is actually, uh, this card uh, gives you 5x points on gas paid at the pump and EV charging station, 3x points at the supermarket, okay? Restaurants and TV, radio, cable, streaming services, and 1x points on all other purchases. The thing is, if you have a FICO score of 400, you're not going to qualify for this card. You're not. Don't even uh, fool yourself. Don't even uh, dream about this. So the thing here is that this is what I was talking about in terms of uh, your, the adequacy of the card versus your financial situation. There has to be a match. If there is no match, now is not the time for you to, to apply for a, a benefit credit card. Let's finish today's conversation with something that is very important. And that is what we call newness. Newness, being new. If you are new in the PenFed family, son, daughter, I just want to chill. Take a chill pill. Just don't you try to rush, trying to force the system to actually uh, give you a credit card or whatnot. No. When you are new, you want to take the time to uh, understand what's happening. Who is what? What's doing what? Okay. And the thing here is that when you're new, you really want to do a few things. You don't want to apply for a perfect credit card unless you have stellar credit, okay? And even when you have stellar credit, you really want to be cautious here. But when you new, take the first three months to actually, uh, first of all, you just want to set the red deposit. Very important. If you don't have the red deposit, you are going to, uh, they're going to reduce the limits they're giving you. Very important. Get a direct deposit. Trying to beef up your NPR, your multi-product relationship with the, with the PenFed. This is important. So when we talk about your NPR, we've said this before, we'll say it again. We are strictly talking about deposit accounts, not liability accounts, okay? It has to be deposit account. It has to be an account in which the cash is yours. So this could be a checking account, a savings account, for instance. It can be an MMA, a money market account, a certificate of deposit, okay? So the list goes on in terms of deposit accounts. What's, what's really important is that you you really want you just want to hold your horses wait for the time to play a game to play in your favor and what is the time when is the timeline here three to six months after six months you can apply for a pamphlet credit card assuming that you have a good credit and you have uh, some cash inflow some cash come into your pamphlet account and when we talk about our pamphlet checking accounts we are always speaking about the pamphlet access america checking account access america do not open another account unless you want to 
okay those are this is uh, really important because you could be part of uh, the PenFed honors advantage program member program so this is something you need to think about and one thing i want to say before closing today's conversation here is that listen if you are let's say you live nearby a PenFed branch go to a branch and do a lot of your operations at a branch as opposed to over the phone or online Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. In today's conversation, I was talking to you about the PenFed credit card application timing hacks. So there are specific moments when you should never apply for a PenFed credit card. So we have, if you have bad timing, no big purchase, no pre-approval, low income, no need for transferring balances, dirt poor credit, and newness. Thank you so much for your attention. I will see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.